Hello there. Today, we're going to see whether this thing and this thing and this thing can help us figure out what's wrong with that thing. Welcome to Cast By TV. Right, today we're in the Ford Mondeo, which, according to this scanner, has an engine misfire on cylinder one and cylinder four. In fact, I wrote down the codes somewhere. Hang on. There we go. P, can you see that? It's P0300, 301 and 304. By the way, the check engine light is on as well. Engine misfires can be caused by problems with countless components. For example, the spark plugs, coil pack, fuel delivery, vacuum leaks, timing, a valve issues, or a restricted exhaust. Even low voltage can cause misfires, which is one of the reasons this battery's had a good charge. That list is by no means exhaustive, by the way. So where do we start? Well, let's inspect the spark plugs because that's quick, it's easy. We might learn something useful. And most importantly, it gives me a chance to use my new ratchet, which I think is just about big enough for the job. Okay. This is awkward. <sighs> First though, let's unplug the battery charger, like so, and we may as well take the clips off while we're at it. There we are, and we'll pop those down there where they're safe. Now, spark plug number one is down here in cylinder number one, and this is where we have a misfire. This is cylinder number two and three, they're working okay. And there's cylinder number four, which again has a misfire. So to access these spark plugs, we have to remove these ignition coils. There is a particular tool that would make it easy to remove this ignition coil, but we don't have one. So we're going to lever it out with a big old screwdriver. Right, come on now, out you come. Oh, I wish we had one of those tools. <laughs> it is, of course, tempting to grab it by the lead here and pull, but that can cause damage, so we won't be doing that. Come on now, out you come. Get in there. There we are. And now we need the new ratchet to take out the spark plug. <laughs> yes, I think that's just about big enough. Hopefully it's not too tight. It's not. And there we go. One spark plug. Interesting. I'll show you that in a moment. In the meantime, it's important we don't lose track of which spark plug goes in which cylinder. So we need a cunning plan. And that plan involves a box of tissues. Here is the box. So we'll grab a knife, which once again is perhaps a little excessive for the job, but nonetheless, we'll use it to make a hole about there. A roughly spark plug size, pop in spark plug number one, and then I'll grab my faithful Parker pen and label it there. There we go, number one. And of course we can do exactly the same with the other plugs once they've been removed, which we'll do now. All four spark plugs are now out. There we go. Can you see that? So we'll have a good look at those in a moment. First though, let's double check the service history to see how long they've been in the car. And to do that, we need to go indoors. 
because that's where the paperwork is. Are you coming? Welcome to my desk, which needs to be tidied up. <laughs> Nonetheless, we have an invoice here, which confirms the car had a full service, all right, full service. Now, whereas we don't have an itemized breakdown of what that service included, full implies to me that it did include spark plugs, and this wasn't that long ago. It was about 10 months and four and a half thousand miles. So assuming, as I think is reasonable, that the car did have new spark plugs then, they're not that old and they haven't done that many miles, so in a healthy engine, they should be in reasonable condition. So let's look at spark plug number one, which is from one of the cylinders that's misfiring. Yeah, look at this. The end of this spark plug is black, dry and sooty. See that? It's all over the ground electrode strap there. It's on the central electrode down there, as well as the insulator, all over really. And this, what do we call it? carbon fouling could indicate a rich mixture, in other words, too much petrol relative to the air. Why has the camera gone out of focus? Hang on. There we go. Now, spark plug four, which is from the other cylinder that's misfiring, looks similar to spark plug one. Here's a picture, and as we can see, there's plenty of carbon buildup here as well. In contrast, spark plugs two and three are significantly cleaner and those cylinders don't misfire. Hang on, I'll get your picture. There's number two, and whereas we can see it's clearly had some use, it is significantly cleaner than one and four. We can, for example, see some white around there. And it's much the same story over here on spark plug number three. There it is. Okay, we're now back with the car because we have a plan. Which is to install spark plug two and three, which we know worked because there were no engine misfires, into cylinders one and four, which were misfiring. If cylinders one and four then work properly, then we'll know that their misfires were caused by the poor condition of their plugs. Additionally, we'll install spark plug one and spark plug four into cylinders two and three, which were working. And if those cylinders start misfiring, that will be a further black mark against plug one and four. Give me a minute and I'll get back to you when the plugs are all installed. There we go, all four spark plugs replaced. I haven't talked them down properly, but they're close enough for now. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's just start it and see what happens. What's the worst, eh? All right, in neutral. We'll open the window so we can hear the engine better. That didn't sound good, and it didn't start. Try again. It sounds awful. But curiously, there's no check engine light. It's definitely misfiring. Yeah, and it's cut out. Let's try again. Ready? Will it idle? Come on. Oh dear. Okay, I've just run a scan and surprisingly, the vehicle has no fault codes. Really? Okay, 
I've now tried a few more times to pull some codes with a scanner without luck and the check engine light is still off and such things aren't helping our diagnosis. So what we do know is that before we swap the spark plugs around, the engine did idle. It sounded awful, but it idled and now it won't. So I think the sensible thing to do is to put the spark plugs back to their original positions and then see what happens. You are not helping. This is interesting. I'm in the middle of putting these spark plugs back to their original positions and I had to pause to show you this. Where's it gone? Here we are. This is the original spark plug too that when we looked at it on my desk earlier was one of the cleaner ones but even though it's only been in cylinder one for a few minutes look how coked up it is now. That is significantly dirtier. Interesting. Anyway, let's get it back in the car. And then we'll see if it starts and idles. Where's the ratchet gone? I don't feel particularly optimistic about this, but you never know, we'll see. Come on, Mondeo. Well, it started. Will it idle? Yes, it's idling. There we are, it's idling. Just above a thousand. Yeah, okay. So, what have we discovered? Well, it seems that the spark plugs are getting prematurely covered in carbon, particularly in cylinders one and four, which is where the original misfires were. The question <laughs> is why are they getting covered in carbon? And that is something we need to ponder another time. That's it for now though, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe to CarSpy TV. That makes it easier to find out the content. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video and I'll see you later on. Take care.